Welcome to 3 Minute Thursdays. 3 Minute Thursdays are a short breakdown of topics that you will see within your flight training here at UND. The goal is for you, the student, to have a better understanding of what it takes to become a safe, professional pilot. Hello, my name is Tyler Lauer. I'm a lead flight instructor at UND Aerospace. This week, we will be finishing our holding series with one final video. Just like last week, I'm gonna provide you with a real world scenario that you will likely encounter during your flight training. Only this week, we're gonna cover distance holding. For today's example, we will continue from our last video. We just went missed off of the Crookston VOR-13 approach. Your missed approach instruction from ATC is proceed direct FATFU, hold south as published, climb and maintain 3,000 feet. Just like our last video, you don't have a lot of time to get set up for the hold. Your first step here is to fly the airplane. Always make sure you have positive control of the airplane and are in a safe place to start setting up your avionics. Once you are established in your climb, set up the GPS. The G1000 may ask you fly course reversal at FATFU. This is the G1000's way of asking you if you are going to hold. Select yes. Next, it's time to brief the hold. We'll be entering the hold from the north. If we think back to our hand example, we'll be entering between our pinky and index finger. This means that we will be executing a parallel entry. To fly a parallel entry, establish your holding speed within three minutes of the holding fix. As we approach the fix for the first time, think about the six T's. With the parallel entry, the order of the six T's will change but if you get all of the six T's done, you'll be set up for a successful hold. First, we will cross the fix and select our timer, as we'll be flying the reciprocal to our outbound course for one minute. Remember, we need to parallel the course. Once we set the timer, we can report to ATC that we are established in the hold. After flying for one minute outbound, we can begin our standard rate turn inbound. In the turn, we adjust our throttle to maintain our holding speed. Here's a pro tip, if you can get yourself back to the inbound course, you can get your wind correction angle on the first inbound leg. You can then twist your heading bug to the correct outbound heading. Once you cross the holding fix for the second time, be sure to press or touch the suspend key. This will enable the GPS to remain in the holding pattern. Today, we chair flew another real world scenario that you will see at UND during your flight training. I hope that our holding series will help you reduce the workload in the cockpit. Holding can be a complex maneuver, but if you understand the fundamentals, it becomes second nature, giving you more time to set up for a safe instrument approach. Thank you for watching 3 Minute Thursdays. If you have a topic that you would like to see covered, please comment below. Remember, fly safe and we'll see you on the flight line.